Hey guys, Parker here. Um, I wanted to do a quick little like video type thing before I uh, head to bed. Um, sort of unpopular opinion, so you know, just before, if I say anything, <laughs> I'm so tired right now. If I say anything that you don't agree with, just sort of like before you pause the video and start screaming at me, like just listen to what I have to say. That's all I ask. Listen to what I have to say. If you still disagree with me, then fine, whatever. Totally cool, but let, you know, just let me get this out. I believe that everything we do in life is a choice. Um, and I mean absolutely everything. Uh, being happy, being miserable, being negative, being positive. Um, Yes, for some it's harder than others. For myself, especially because of the fact that I do struggle with depression, because I do struggle with a lot of fucking mental disorders that are not fun, um, that I would rather not have. Uh, it, it is a lot more difficult, but it's still a choice on whether I let certain things get to me, whether I let um, my constant spiel of negative thoughts control what I do and how I feel. Um, now that being said, I also believe that to some extent, to some extent, being gay, being transgender, being homophobic, being an asshole in general, is all a choice. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, as someone who is transgender, as someone who has, who's also pansexual, who struggles with, you know, a lot of negativity that stems from other people who just choose to be, you know, transphobic, homophobic assholes. Um, I don't choose to be miserable. I don't choose to have to go th through these hardships. But at the same time, I personally choose to be who I feel I am. And I choose to be transgender. I choose to be open about it because it makes me a hell of a lot happier than trying to be someone that I'm not. I choose to be happy and to be freely, to freely be who, who and what I feel I am rather than being miserable and trying to make everyone happy. Which is why I think to some extent, you know, your gender, your sexuality, it's a choice. I'm not saying that, you know, you just woke up one day like, oh, you know what, I'm going to be gay today. Like, no. I mean, obviously it's been scientifically proven, it's a whole DNA shit thing, weird, whatever, I'm too tired for this, it's like... It's 3.30 in the morning. I can't talk. But, um, I think to some extent, you know, that sort of stuff is a choice. You can either choose to stay in the closet and to be miserable for the rest of your fucking life, or you can choose to endure the hardships and the consequences that come with coming out of the closet. Unfortunately, you know, there's always going to be consequences to whatever we choose to do. Um, and I wish it wasn't as hard for people of the LGBTQ community to essentially come out of the closet or make their way out of the wardrobe or whatever you choose to uh, say. Um, so it's sort of like, I'm really tired and maybe a lot of what I'm saying isn't making any sense and I apologize. Um, <coughs> but I think that that sort of thing to some extent is a choice it's you know it's it's your personal it's your personal choice on whether or not you decide to repress who you are now i'm not saying you know be a serial killer to, to some extent do what makes you happy you know choose to 
it, it's easier to come out and to choose to live your life as the person that you feel you are, you know, and it, it, it's, it's so much easier to choose that than to choose to try and make everyone happy and to repress who you are and to try and deny that aspect of yourself, to deny that sort of spiritual freedom, you know, and I mean, as someone who, <clears throat> who has done that, who has gone through, you know, the majority of my life so far, trying to be someone that I wasn't and trying to essentially choose to make everyone happy and to not cause problems with my family in some aspect. I chose to be unhappy, and I chose to deny myself that pleasure, that that freedom of openly exploring my sexuality and my gender identity, and um, even you know all that shit. And yeah, for me, everything is a choice. It's your choice on what you're going to do with your life, on, you know, what you're going to explore, what you're going to say, what you're going to do, who you are, you know, who you like. It's all a choice, to an extent. But at the same time, there's consequences to every choice that you make, to every action that you have. And we have to choose to not only accept people for who they are no matter how shitty of a person they may be but it's also a choice to be able to endure the hardships that come and, and the consequences that come with every action every decision that we make in our life and if you know there are people out there if, if they choose to to come out and to live their life as they are. They also have to choose to accept the consequences. And they have to choose to be happy despite any shit that they may and or will get. And it's hard. It's fucking hard, I know. And this video is eight minutes long, but it's difficult. It's not, it's not going to be easy. Nothing you do is going to be easy. If it's easy, then there's something fucking wrong. <laughs> you know? You need to choose to be happy. You need to choose to live your life. You need to choose to prove people wrong. And to make them see how wonderful of a person you really are. Because you're fucking fantastic. You, yes, you, right there, sitting there watching me blab on it fucking 3 30 in the morning <laughs> tired as shit you know it's your life and i love you and you know you're a wonderful person no matter what you choose to do um unless you choose to be a serial killer then you know in which case um go get help <laughs> but you know in the end, all of this is a choice. You can choose to be miserable, or you can choose to be happy with your life and who you are. That's it. So, yeah, if you still disagree with me, that's totally fine, you know. Do, you know, believe what you want to believe. But these are my beliefs, and I'm openly sharing them with you.